What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? 
No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. All doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess.
What sort of creature is this? Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must.
Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Are you sure you're all... Yes.